talk about Adelita by Francisco Tariga. This is one of my favorite pieces and I've been playing it ever since I first learned it some 30 years ago. Has it been 30 years? 25 years ago. Tariga is one of my favorite composers and this particular piece I've always been drawn to it. In fact the very first recital I ever played in, I played Adelita, Lagrima, and Spanish Romance. All right, so this is written in the style of a mazurka. A mazurka is a Polish dance generally with accents on beat two or beat three. So it begins first measure. So one thing about this and you'll see this throughout this first section are these pull-offs. So make sure when you pull off, you don't pull straight off because you won't get much of a sound. Instead, you're pulling down and really just plucking that string with the left hand. Second measure. Third measure. And that one I like to put a lot of vibrato on it. So first three measures. Now what I do is I take everything off except for the third finger and I do a little one, three, one hammer on pull off. So again, Measures five, six, and seven are the same as measures one, two, and three. We ended up with this chord in measure seven, and I just take my third finger and it acts as a guide finger to the fifth, and you go like that. So that line being at measure five goes like this. All right, then that repeats. And generally what I'll do is I'll play it a little differently. If I play more of my natural sound the first time, meaning I'm, my fingers are hitting the strings here, I might do the second time more upon a cello, so closer. More like that. The next section begins at measure nine. We've changed from E minor to E major. All right, then measure nine. It begins with a half bar, and you're gonna go like this, slowly. So notice the first two fingers stay down, and then that repeats. In the measure 11, we have this, pinky, and then I do a 5-6 bar, I cut a 5 to 6 string. So again, that measure. Measure 12, I keep that third finger down and I put these two fingers down. So again. And then measure 13, the melody goes to the bass. A7 chord. And then. And I'm going to slide up all the way to the 13th fret. And I have a fermata there, I'll hold that. And then down to the 8th fret. Alright, and this middle finger X is a guide finger up one fret. And you lay the bar down. A little hammer on pull off. Alright, so you have this. Third finger, X guide finger. Third finger, guide finger again. And third finger, guide finger again. So it just goes straight down that string. So it goes like this. And then you have one and two. And again, like the A section, we're going to repeat this section again. And once again, I usually try and play it differently. I might play it more upon a cello the second time. 
Or I might go over more by the fingerboard to play more of a dulce sound. I usually make those decisions more on the fly, more of how am I feeling at the moment. All right, then what I'll do is I'll go back to the beginning, and you're gonna end at measure eight. And there it's peace.